If you need help building your team or selling your coins, make sure you head on over to CheapMaticCoins.com for the cheapest prices, fast delivery, and 24-hour customer support. And use code WOLF for 15% off. Welcome to another video. This is actually post-commentary gameplay. And let me tell you guys why, all right? I was in the middle of a live gameplay, man. I was like second quarter in this game and I was talking, you know, doing the live commentaries or whatever. And then out of nowhere, man, one of my relatives shows up to the room, bro, and opens the door and just starts talking to me, bro. You know what I mean? Ruining the whole vibe. So if my relative is watching this video right here, man, I apologize, but come on, bro. You ruined my gameplay. You know what I'm saying? You ruined my gameplay, man. So now I have to do post commentary. Anyway, in this video, I felt like I needed a challenge. I'm tired of winning all my games, right? So what I did was, so I'm going to play this game using double leg gap instead. Now, right here, I'm making adjustments. I'm taking my linebackers out and I'm putting safeties in there because I need speed. Now, I do know the weaknesses to this defense. Inside zone tosses will kill this defense because I know how to kill it with those type of runs. Now, before we get into this, man, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Right here, we're just running a standard cover three look. Well, actually, not a standard cover three look. I'm actually manning up Tyreek Hill. I'm consistently looking for Tyreek Hill to man up. I'll tell you guys right now. So second and four, my man wants to run the ball again. It's not going to happen. Uh, it is third and four. I'm sending pressure, bro. I'm going to show you guys the setup right after this video. If you guys want to know, after this video will be the setups. Now, we come back to a cover three defense. It's fourth and 11. My man thinks he's dope. He thinks he can complete this pass, but he can't, man. I got people in the area. First and 10 for us, I see the vertical routes. Come on, bro, you can't, you gotta cover that wheel route. You gotta put a cloud or something up there. Second and goal, you guys already know what time it is. We throw the curl flat play, tight end, high ball. We up, well, what are we up, 7-0? Sending pressure again. I play hard flats on the right side. He's not ready for it, man. He's scared, I know he's scared. Uh, first and 10, we get the ball back right there on that intersection and Gurley just runs it right in. Why? Because inside zone is dope, man. I love inside zone. Not a lot of people can shoot gaps and, and, and take those away. So we sit in pressure again. He's protecting. Uh, he's Max protecting. Thinks he can juke me on the second guy. But come on, bro. You play. You're not just playing anybody. You know what I mean? Very next play, I guess he is just playing anybody because he finds Tyreek Hill wide open. I didn't man that guy up. Instead, I sent that corner on a blitz toward the quarterback, and I paid dearly for it. Back to the inside zone with Gurley. Boom! Get off me, son. You don't want none. Uh, it's second and two. He's playing the box, which is pretty smart of him. I still run the ball with Gurley because I'm just trying to get my first downs, bro. You know, I'm not trying to. I mean, I am trying to look like a superstar, but I'm trying to get my first down. So first and 10, that guy comes off the edge. I can't get rid of the ball. I got to take a sack. Shout out to the left tackle who let me down on that play. Uh, second and 19. You guys already know what time it is. Throwing the bomb to Cooks. And, and I don't think there's anybody on the Chiefs that can keep up with this guy. I had the lead. I had the step. And it was just very nice. First and 10. My man tries to run double leg gap. I run the inside zone because I already know what time it is. Can't stop a lot of inside zones with the double A gap. I'll tell you guys right now. So back to a cover three. First to 10. We're up 21 to 7. He tries to throw in the traffic. We don't get a pick. Instead, he gets the catch because that's just how Madden works. Sitting the pressure. I'm going to show you guys this blue. I'm going to show you guys this. Just pay attention, bro. Just, just stay tuned. I'll tell you guys right now. Just stay tuned. Tries to throw it, man. We tip drill that. Get the pick, man. We fight for the ball. It's my ball. No, it's my ball. No, it's my ball. Roby Coleman takes it. A couple more yards. We're at the 50. First and 10. We're up 21 to 7. I'm max protecting because I already know my opponent wants to serve me. Actually, you know what? I'm not max protecting. My tight end was going on the street, man. So I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Okay. So my opponent saw what I was doing in double A gap, and he wanted to do the same thing, except the fact that I could beat that. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, dots for days on this channel, man. Pay attention. Throw a toss on first and goal. I can't get in there right there. It is second to go. We give it to Gurley on the inside zone. And here we go scoring another touchdown with the inside zone. It's starting to become a very repetitive story. Now sending more pressure at him. Boom. He can't do nothing with the ball. I got people ready to rock and roll. And then I make a mistake here. He sees it. Tyreek Hill over the top because I set up a cover three. I put the blue. I put the guy that's down on the line in the blue. And I manned up the guy that's in the top of the field with the blue on man. So... Tyreek Hill was going to smoke him regardless, and I remember that. I remember that in my mind that I'm not going to be able to run that play again. Check this out first and 10. Boom. Hurdle this guy. Oh, juke this guy. Where are you going? All on conservative. Imagine if I was on aggressors, I'd be dope. All right, I'm lying now. I wouldn't be dope. First and 10 is 28 to 14. Nobody's open except the X-Rod. I'm going to hit the X-Rod on the drag. Cooks is gone. He's going. He's going. Runs out of bounds because he's scared. 
Tight offset, tight end. Check this out, bro. You guys already know this play, right? Wide open to the X guy, but instead Madden says, nah. Madden says, nah. You, you, ain't, you ain't hitting that, bro. Don't worry about that. Second and 10. We're going to do the same play. I know he's going to pick up that route, so that, that leaves the drag route open because my opponent doesn't want that X route to be wide open. Next play, I run it to the other side because why? I don't care. Try to play maker X up the field. I'm like, okay, I'm highballing this. Boom, throw the high ball, and we throw and hit the cameraman in the forehead, knocking him out. Call the ambulance. He needs help. We have to settle for three. It is 31 to 14 with 24 seconds. Actually, 21 seconds. My editing skills are just on point. I was able to cut three seconds off in the edit. You know what I'm saying? He tries to run the same play to Tyreek Hill, but it's not going to work because I learned my lesson really fast on that play. Second and 10 with 12 seconds left. Throws in the traffic again. My man's just, I mean, I got blanket coverage out there. Sometimes they're gonna let him get one, sometimes they're not. Boom, we get the tip. This guy gets the pick. And we close the half that way. Uh, we got the ball back first in 10. And, and I'm looking, I'm looking for that X route. Boom, I don't get it, I get the sack instead. I feel bad, I feel bad. Right here, we're running max protect and verticals. I'm just making adjustments. I see X, I playmaker him up the field. Throw into that little window. And you guys know I've been throwing dots all game long, bro. He's back in double-A gap because he wants to be like me. He wants to be the hero. But instead, I see the drag route. I get one yard. <laughs> one yard on that play. Boom. We're running the same play. I'm going to hit the drag route again. I'm going to catch him slipping, bro. Just pay attention, all right? Throwing verticals right here. I see the X route. Oh, I can't get it to him. I take another sack. It is fourth and 22. So I come to the money play. The mesh out of the tight offset tight end. He's not ready for that corner route to be wide open, bro. I got plays for days, man. I got plays for days. Now it's time to really make him pay. I caught him slipping on the left side of the field. I'm bombing it over everybody. <laughs> I get the dot again, bro. That's enough for my opponent. He's had enough. He's crying right now. I already know it, bro. Come give me a hug, man. Put your head on my shoulders. Let's talk about the blitz I was using. All right, so I'm going to show you guys a couple setups out of the double-A gap that I used in the gameplay. First thing you want to do is you want to take your linebackers out and put safeties in there. I already did that right here in this uh, video. Uh, I put Christian and I put Countess. One's a strong safety, one's a free safety. So make sure you do that for those positions. Now, what I did was I came out in the cover two defense, and I'm just going to show you guys the block running back because it comes in with block running backs. Uh, there's ways to stop it, uh, but we're not going to go over that today. I can show you guys that uh, in another video if you want. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to baseline, right? And then I'm going to blitz linebackers. So baseline, wire triangle, left stick to the right, and then blitz all linebackers by pressing RB or R1, right stick down for blitz all. They turn all into blitzers right here. Next thing I do is I press and I put X, uh, which is Peters, and put him on an outside third. So it looks like this, okay? And then I man up Tyreek Hill in the gameplay. You can man up who you want. If it's a trip set, I recommend you man up the guy that's in the middle. So Tyreek Hill like this. And then I'm going to come down to the line like this. And then my my goal is to watch Watkins. Now, you can play hard flash like I did in the video and get a pick six because he tried to throw something really fast. Or you can man up the tight end so you could do something like this. So if the tight end goes on a corner route and then shade outside, uh, you can try to pick that off. You know what I'm saying? But leave that blue back there. If I were you, I would just leave it back there just in case. And then you're going to snap the ball and you're going to see that my man comes off the edge nice and clean for that play right there. So let's go over the adjustments really quick that I use. You can do different things in the backfield. The base setup is baseline and blitz all linebackers, pretty much. And then you're gonna have to come down here. Whatever you decide to do in the backfield is on you. But what I do is I I press, put X on a blue, man up the, the, the middle receiver, and then you can even man up this guy and then leave a hard flat like that. So it'll look like this, okay? I actually used this setup one time in the game as well. And then as long as you play the line over here, you're going to get a good pass rush. You're going to get someone coming off the edge, either the left or the right. A lot of times in a double-A gap, it's going to be the guy on the right. So now let's talk about the cover three setup that I used uh, with this formation. Now, you got to be careful because you saw me get smoked uh, on one of the plays that I used out of this uh, double-A gap because, and I'm going to explain to you really quick how I got smoked. Uh, but you can use it. And I don't know why I picked fake screen wheel. That was, that was dumb. Okay. So the way I do this is I base the line, put Cloud Flats up there, and then I take Christian, this guy right here, and put him on a blue. Now, at the beginning of the game, I was backing him up on purpose. And then I got lazy and left him down there in the middle, during the middle of the game. And then I got smoked over the top by Tyreek Hill because Tyreek this guy cannot, he's not going to catch Tyreek Hill. And then what I will do is I'll man up this guy to Tyreek Hill. 
So I could have done that. I should have manned him up to Tyree Hill. But like I said, I was getting lazy in that game. I was already up, what, three possessions. So this would be the, the setup right here. And then you're just going to use her who you want coming across the middle of the field. It's crossers. So you see the, the you just see the coverage on the field, bro. That's why I love using the setup that I'm showing you guys right here. It's just it's just awesome. So those are the setups right there. If you want to just run cover two, you can and, and do the same thing. Use the middle blue. I actually used that one time as well. You just got to be careful with the run the run game uh, against the double A gap because I'm telling you guys right now. I don't know why it's running fake screen. Well, the run game will kill you in double A gap if someone's run heavy. So be careful with it. Uh, if you're having trouble against the double A gap, I can make a video on how to just annihilate the defense because it's very easy. Uh, but you can also, if someone doesn't know how to beat the double A gap, you can make them suffer with coverages and just scaring them with blitzes and stuff like that, like my opponent in this gameplay. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Love you guys, man. Peace.